Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the A-Side. I am your host, Riley, and today we have a very, very special reaction because my favorite band of all time is Panic at the Disco. Their very first album, A Few You Can't Sweat Out, is, is what got me into music in late elementary school. It remains my favorite album of all time, and their second album, Pretty Odd, is really close to being my favorite album of all time. It's very close, very close, number two. Their uh, fourth album, Too Weird to Live, Too Red to Die, was the very first CD I ever bought. And their fifth album, Death of a Bachelor, was the very first record that I bought when I started my record collection, started buying vinyl. Now, this band has come under some fire recently for not being the best. It's just lead singer Brendan Urey now. It has been since Death of a Bachelor. And while I think that record turned out really good, uh, I thought Pray for the Wicked, the 2018 album, their newest album at this point, was really bad. Uh, and it has just aged even worse. Um, that coupled with the overplay of songs like High Hope, uh, the dated production, the meaningless lyrics, um, it all was not very good. Um, and a lot of people have lost faith in Panic! at Disco, but here's my thing. Every band... Not every band, but most bands have that one album, right? The one that the fans don't talk about. I mean, Weezer. Weezer is Ratitude. Some people like Ratitude now, but for a long time, it was pretty universally panned. But from there, Weezer would go on to put out some of their best work of their career. White Album, OK Human, Ubait. Um, and I think it can be the same with Panic, I think. Uh, Brennan is talented, he's a great vocalist, uh, he's a good songwriter when he tries to be. So let's just check out this new track, Viva Lost Vengeance, I'm really, really excited. Immediately, of course, I heard it from the teasers, it's got the rocky tone again. It is a very, like, classic rock sounding riff, um, very 60s, 70s-ish sounding. Oh, I like the harmonies. Oh, that melody. I'm so out of it. That was really off key, but um, Brendan sounds great. I like the Queen ask uh, harmonies in the background. That really reminds me of Fever, the way he had his vocals there. Um, really reminded me of a Fever You Can't Sweat Out. That's a really good chorus, and his vocals are just shining so much. I think Brendan is such a good vocalist. Shut up and go to bed. And the way he hits those vocals so powerfully and just belts it out. This is really good. It really reminds me of Vices and Virtues, actually. Oh, the way the guitar and piano are intertwining there is really cool. It's very Brian Wilson.
Ooh, the strings. This song. Oh my god. His vocals here sound so close and intimate. there oh, he's gotta be a ham Brendan Murray is a ham gotta tell you one of the best concerts I've ever been to my very first concert was Panic at the Disco on the Pray for the Wicked tour what a good concert even though I don't like most of the Pray for the Wicked songs a lot of them really came to life live beginning to hear a lot of like the death of a bachelor and uh Vice's songs, I'm with Saviva, all the Vice's songs live, really great, um, and I really like this song, this is the most rock they've sounded since Vice's, it really reminded me of Vice's with the piano and the string work, um, really kind of brought me back to that almost Baroque inspiration that you find on Vices and Virtues, so I really think this sounds a lot like Vices and Virtues, but I love the guitar, I love that the song is a rock song, this is like I said, the most rock, uh, this rock band has been since 2011, um, but I love to hear it, um, I thought his vocals sounded great, especially the vocal melodies, I loved the background, um, harmonies, I loved the very classic sounding guitar riff some may say it sounds cheesy but i think it's definitely an homage to a lot of 60s and 70s rock i thought the lyrics were cool um very very panic of disco sounding of course um but i just loved this song i don't have much to say about it because it's like my first time listening to it and i'm kind of overwhelmed that my favorite band is back um but wow um I really loved that. Um, getting to hear Brendan on something that isn't some pop bullshit, really actually spreading his wings and doing something a little more creative with the guitars and the strings and making like an actual song, something that's not going to sound dated in a year. Um, this felt a lot more true to the Panic at the Disco name, even without all the other band members. Um, and I think Brendan really nailed it. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of Viva Las Vengeance and what you think of the rest of Panic's discography. And, and if you're excited for the album of the same name coming up, um, I know I am. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.